from Big Bill's New York Pizza in Centennial. And we're talking with former Colorado Avalanche, Curtis LeCision. Now, Curtis, here you are, a Stanley Cup champion, but I believe it was the 97-98 season when you were traded from the Avalanche? Yeah, it was the next season, actually, yeah. The next season? Yeah, so that was, you know, you went from you know, the highest point of you know, my hockey career to probably one of my lowest being traded, because I knew you know, when I was traded from the Avalanche that, you know, that team was destined to do well and win again. So that was, you know, it was a tough day being told that uh, you you were traded. And, um, you know, I remember the day like it was yesterday. And, um, you know, it, it's part of the game, but sometimes, um, you know, you just don't know how to handle it until you, you actually go through it. And that was my first time, and I, w I, I wasn't good at it, let me tell you. It was, it was very difficult, but, um, you know, you just you eventually learn to move on and, and continue to try and uh, do as well as you can in whatever team that you end up on. You know, you, you talk to a lot of uh, former players that have been traded, and they, you know they say it's a business. It's all it's all part of the game, but somewhere along the line, it, it has to dig into your pride a little bit, saying, "I'm not good enough. Why why am I being traded?" Oh, absolutely. You're you're 100 percent correct in saying that. You you realize that there's a reason for it, and sometimes uh, you have no control over it. But uh, it, you know, you don't want to take it personally, but you do it to some extent, like you said. Um, you know, I, I I was upset with it. You know, I didn't, I wasn't placing blame on anybody for it. I just knew that that was part, like you said, part of how teams, uh, you know, continue to get better. And, you know, you can't always stick with the same players you always have. And, um, so it's a business, but uh, personally, it, it becomes a little bit of a, it's tough on you that, you know, you, it's almost like you're not wanted anymore and you, you have to move on. But uh, like I said, you, you eventually get over it and move on and, and, and do, do play and play as well as you can for other teams. Now, as a fan, we're almost on the same page here because I'm thinking you guys win the Stanley Cup championship, thinking, boy, this is a young team. They're destined to win a lot more championships. Now, I'd like to get your thoughts on, on my opinion here. Take a look at that 95-96 team. They win the championship fairly young. And I'm thinking, boy, you know, they should have won more than two championships, in my opinion. But you know how hard it is to win the Stanley Cup. Right. Your thoughts on, on my opinion on that, when I take it back and look at that team. Yeah, I, well, that was my first, one of my first thoughts when I was traded was that, man, this team's gonna win a lot for, you know, for many years. And, um, you know, it didn't happen that way. A lot of things, for whatever reason, you know, other teams improve, you know, injuries play part of it, um, personnel changes or whatever. It doesn't, I mean, there's a lot of factors um, that happen for teams not to repeat. And it's, it's difficult today for teams to do it because of the salary cap, but, um, you know, we didn't have one at that back then. And so, but, you know, teams certainly had budgets as well, and so, you you know, they don't want to go out and just start spending X, X number of dollars when they don't need to. You know, it's, um, it is a business, and they have to run it the way they, they need to run it. So, yeah, that, like I said, that was one of my first reactions. Why I was so disappointed was that I believed that this team that we just finished winning with was a contender for many years. Now, you, I was reading your, uh, your history in, in playing. Here you are, you're in Quebec and then you, you move over here to uh, Denver, Colorado, and then you get traded to Washington, and then I believe, what was it, a week later, you end up going to Hartford? Yes. And then Hartford goes to Carolina. Yeah. Talk, talk about that. Well, um, it was a whirlwind for a week and a half after I was traded here. I, I didn't leave right away, because the time I was traded with Chris Simon, and Chris was holding out, he was looking for a new contract, and I was, part of why he was traded to Washington and I was part of the package that went there but Washington had a, a lot of defensemen so I knew I wasn't going to be there long I even talked to the general manager and said you know I don't believe that you need a defenseman and so he you know he acknowledged that and eventually uh, a week later I was uh, traded to Hartford so um, I played two games in Washington ended up in Hartford um, and Hartford was a team that was talked about moving and you know they needed a new building and uh, so we ended up we did end up moving to uh, North Carolina Raleigh North Carolina and became the Carolina Hurricanes so um, that year was was a year of uh, a lot of moves 
We have to take a quick break, but before we go, I want to get your answer on this one here. During your playing days, you mentioned the name Chris Simon here, toughest guy in the National Hockey League that uh, that you had to face. Oh, you, you want that yeah, right yeah, now? Okay. Yeah, who is the, oh, before we go to break? Uh, I thought you were going to give me a chance to think about that one for a bit. No, there, I mean, you couldn't, Chris Simon was as tough as they came, but, you know, you, got, you look at Detroit had, or Detroit had Rob Probert, and when we played, Probert was in Chicago at that time, I believe. And, um, so there's, you know, Wendell Clark, for instance, he played with us in Quebec for a little bit and he was traded in that Claude Lemieux deal. Um, you know, Adam Denmarsh, for instance, probably one of the toughest kids to ever play the game, but, you know, concussions slowed him down. You know, you could just pick a player out of the hat at will. That, that, I mean, the game of hockey, if you're not prepared to play it physically, it's, it's a tough game to play because the guys are so big and strong. And, um, you know, you, you have to be physically prepared for it. So, you know, I can't really pinpoint one guy that would, I could say was the toughest guy. I mean, you could just go down the list of every team. You know, they had five, six, seven guys that you, you hated to face against because they played hard, they, they're physical, not necessarily fighting all the time, but, you know, they finished their checks and made it difficult as a defenseman, that's for sure. We've got to take another break, but when we come back, we want to talk about your post-career when we come back. We're talking with Curtis Decision, former Colorado Avalanche, right here on Colorado Sports Connection.